So this stone has a, uh, a scripture verse here. Uh, it's typed in in a font. However, the <coughs> person that had passed away had actually written this in their journal. So I think it would be cool, instead of using a font, if you actually did that in their own handwriting. So I'm going to delete this and just import um, from my email the attachment of um, his journal here. And I'll make it a little bit larger to fit the area. I won't do the whole thing for this video probably. Well, maybe I will. We'll see. But I'll just get it to the size that I want roughly for the area that we've got. Um, and I'll probably right click and say lock object, that way I don't accidentally move it at all. But then I can just come in here and zoom in a little bit. And I would use my artistic media tool to draw this. And I use a pen, a tablet that has pressure, so I use the expression setting so that I can do pressure sensitivity. And I would do 0 0.09 inches because that's the uh, stroke width that I like to have. But now that I've got that set up, all I have to do is come over the top of it and start tracing it. So I think that it's pretty cool to um, be able to show, th you know, people's own handwriting. A lot of times when we do, you know, obviously a uh, a signature is not something you want to duplicate very often on anything. But on headstones it's actually really neat to duplicate somebody's signature. I've done it quite a bit where we take the signature off of a check or off of a, the bottom of a letter and duplicate that for their names. Or even just doing it above the names. So I'm just going through and for each piece, just tracing it. The thing with artistic media is it's a vector tool. So after I'm done drawing this, I'm able to edit it. And I like to use artistic media, one, because I'm able to do pressure sensitivity so that on my ends of my letters or my beginning beginning of my letters I can push harder or less to mimic the way that it was done here. The other thing is um, I think it works nicely with the pen. So I'm just going to keep going around tracing each of these letters. It's a little bit choppy. Um, and that's mostly because I'm recording the video while I'm doing it, so it's using a bit of my processing power. And I'll go ahead and just do two lines just to show you how it works. Now you could do um, just like the freehand line and then apply a thickness to that but that gives it a consistent thickness and you can see here where it comes to a, a point um, that doesn't really work with using freehand unless you used freehand and then applied an artistic media to it which is an option as well um, but then there are presets which make, makes it so all of your lines kind of change the same way so I just prefer to use the artistic media this way. Or I'll take it into photo paint and draw it um, as a bitmap instead. But using artistic media this way, I'll show you as soon as this line is done that you can edit these lines to tweak them a little bit, make sure that they fit the flow of how this particular person wrote. Okay, so now that we've got that done, I will go ahead and unlock this so that I, I'm just going to hide it instead of delete it. And we've got our text that's written here. 
I'm going to wireframe so that I can select it all. And then I will fill it in with white. But then if I grab my shape tool, any areas here that are a little bit messed up, you can actually click on the nodes and delete any extra nodes or whatever it happens to be that's messing up that line. And artistic media is um, an effect applied to a single line, so it's going to not let you change the outside of these um, the outer areas here until what we could do is once we're all done um, you actually come and I'll just do this top line here so you can take well I'll do it all take all of these and you come up and say object break ob uh, objects apart and what that does is it breaks the inside line apart from the outside line so you can actually delete those lines you don't need them anymore and these ones you can weld together so that they are connected correctly but once you do the welding and the breaking apart then you have full control also over the outside of your lines I wouldn't get too picky probably on on a lot of this as it is uh, just handwriting but you can certainly edit that as much as you wanted to so toggling back um, out of wireframe back to the enhanced view we can see that now we've got uh, that text or handwriting done up there which I think is pretty neat um, and actually it looks like she's the one that passed away so it's not his handwriting it's hers but I think that's a cool effect to be able to uh, to show somebody's signatures or handwriting uh, the way that they did it.